Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock deadbolts, padlocks, and passage doorknob locks using a modified $25 ultrasonic toothbrush from Walmart. When the simple modifications are made as shown in this video, you'll convert what you see right here into this extremely useful cordless electronic picking device. Similar picking devices sold online can cost as much as $250. First I'm going to briefly explain how the toothbrush works, then I'm going to show you how I converted it, and lastly you're going to see a few demonstrations. Okay, let's get started. The way this works is very simple. Let me turn it on just to show you first. See how fast it's oscillating? We're going to be taking advantage of that to vibrate the pins inside of a pin tumbler lock to the shear line. Let me unscrew this. Now right over here you're looking at two magnets. One is north facing and one is south facing. And to show you I'm going to take these neodymium magnets. This is just one pole, north or south. You'll see that one side is repelling and the other side it sticks to. Inside the handpiece is an electronic circuit and what happens, alternating magnetic fields are being created. So it's rapidly switching between north and south, and when that happens, it causes the head of the brush to go like that at a very fast rate. It's very simple. There's not much to it. In order to make the modification, you're going to have to heat right over here. I used a very small heat gun. Heated it up. Once it reached high enough temperature, this became very soft and flimsy. I just grabbed the head of the brush, pulled it, and it slid off. And you can see it right here in this image. The other end that remains, you can see right over here. Now we need to cut the end that you took off about one inch long. And some of you may say, why not just cut it instead of heating it? There's a reason for that. The piece of metal extends up. And when we go to make a cut from the end down, it's going to go into that piece of metal. It's going to make it very difficult. So you're definitely going to want to heat this and pull it off. Now the pick tip we're going to be using is the one you see right over here. When you purchase a manual pick gun, the tips are included. They're very inexpensive. I took the straight tip and you can see it has a U-shaped opening on the bottom. And that's ideal because it's going to allow me to slide it into the plastic, the cut that I made, which you'll see in a minute, and it goes right around that metal piece, extending into the center. When this is cut to one inch, like you see in the picture right here, you're going to make a slit using the Dremel. Deep enough to accept the pick tool, it's going to slide in. When it slides in, you're going to cut a section of this tubing. It's 932nd by 0.014 inch. And make sure you get that size because when you make that slit in the plastic, the metal ring is going to be used to squeeze those two pieces of plastic together where you made the slit for the blade. And it's going to really clamp down on this metal blade. Before you slide the metal blade in and use a 3 8 inch section of this ring, you're going to apply crazy glue inside the slit of this plastic and then you're going to tap this ring down. It's going to be a very snug fit but when you get it all the way down it's going to look very nice like you see right there and it will not come out. It's very important this is done correctly because if you don't do it right you're not going to have the correct movement and you won't be able to vibrate the pins to find the shear line. Okay, let me give you a few demonstrations showing how well this works. Keep in mind when you pick with this, you can insert this all the way into the keyway and rock it up and down, or you could take advantage of the vibrations in the tip and pick one pin at a time as you move it out of the keyway and into the keyway. It does take getting used to, but once you know how to use it, it works extremely well. Okay, let's get picking. And it doesn't happen much faster than that. We're now in. 
Okay, let me show you on a different deadbolt. And you can see it took a little bit of time, but I got it open. Just rotate this all the way to the side. I got to push on the door a little bit. And the door opens. Okay, let's take a look at this master lock. And you can see how quickly that opened. Let's try this lock. It's locked. Place that in. Put a little bit of tension there. And it's as easy as that. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to look over my video playlist for other videos of interest to you. I do have a wide range of videos on my channel. Thank you very much for watching.